go. And hello, everybody. It's Dr. Hank, and welcome to Mastermind Magnets. This is where uh, really all real estate professionals, this is for agents, brokers, and loan officers, investors, uh, and it's to help you to really understand and be very knowledgeable in real estate, how to be able to speak to other people and show off all your knowledge and have them select you as their preferred whatever position you are, agent or real estate professional. And today, I think you're going to really love this session. It is, uh, we're going to start out from a broad perspective and look at uh, kind of the economy, the whole world, what's happening, and then specifically uh, get into real estate and what's happening with real estate. And I would strongly suggest that you get out your pen, have a pad of paper and uh, start to uh, and just expect to take notes. And so when you hear something that is like an aha or you didn't know before, instead of just kind of rolling with the idea, make sure you write it down because there will be some opportunities for uh, you to grow your business in just the recap of uh, looking at uh, the uh, real estate industry and the different changes that are occurring. Uh, but there also, I'm going to share with you one of our four uh, lead programs today. And again, it can help anybody really in any industry. It is a referral program and how for all of us, no matter what you're doing to really be thinking about number one, that you deserve referrals and number two, how to start attracting referrals referrals into your life. And for those of you that don't know, they call me Dr. Hank. The doctor is beside my PhD in mental science. I'm a mental scientist. And my most recent book um, is Your Royal Path to Riches. And uh, that's a great one to understand how to tap into your subconscious mind with the kingdom. Uh, with the kingdom. And I'm going to mute everybody. Now know that uh, even though I'm going to mute you guys, um, that you can uh, at any time uh, 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 come in with you know any questions you have, any comments you have. Uh, in fact, before we get going, does anybody have anything good to share? What What's happening good for you? What's a good thing that you want to share? Stacy, what about like you with over a million dollars worth of <laughs> worth the business that you've done in the last whatever 30 days or whatever that is. Well, I am working on another listing in Crum. Girl. And I'm working with a couple of buyers right now. So that's what I've got going on with me. That's awesome. I'm just so yeah. happy, happy for you. And what do you um what do you think uh, as far as the mindset kind of like, you know, because I know that when you uh, uh, first uh, joined the team under this umbrella with this mastermind group, I know that, uh, you know, you didn't have business for a while and, and then, uh, you know, and it took uh, maybe a couple months, you know, to really uh, kind of get into it. But what do you think were a couple of things that was helpful for you um, uh, to uh, all of a sudden jump up, start your business to where you're doing over a million a month? Uh, I think the, the first thing is definitely um, getting connected with the mindset training that you teach and just being um, very proactive in that area of my life um, because that affected pretty much anything in, uh, when it came to not only just real estate, but at home. Yes. Um, and just having the, the right mindset. I was in a funk. And um, so getting out of that and realizing that there's a lot more to offer yeah. Um, by having the right mindset and just sticking to it and um, calling you and getting a spanking on my hand when I needed it. <laughs> I don't give spankings. <laughs> <laughs> At least I try to do it in a kind and loving way. <laughs> you did it in a fabulous way and I needed it. And um, <laughs> so that is what has helped in just doing my sentences and, um, you know, keeping the Lord um, above all things. And yeah. so that's, um, 
I think it was just time. I think I had to um, get my life in order before he um, gave me my overflowing basket. So. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, you know, all of our cups can overflow and uh, it's all a matter of having that, uh, getting aligned with God. And basically what that means is, and, and just to go into that just for a minute on the mindset that you mentioned a couple things. Number one was uh, the sentences. And so I give people magical sentences. So you need to get in uh, uh, touch with me and ask me, hey, you know, I got this going on. I got a slow deal. I don't have enough business, whatever. And I'll give you a magical sentence that will be perfect for you, an ideal that will tap into your subconscious mind and uh, and then and then again the father does the work and and you know in this whole idea about what does that mean and that you know just ask and then we can receive it and um, and I'm going to share with you just a, a thought on that and so you have already asked for you know and this is to all of us now that we've all uh, asked for lots of uh, different things. And so God knows exactly the universe, whatever words you want to use, uh, that higher power, if you will, that uh, knows exactly where you are, knows exactly what you want. And so what I would recommend, one of the great techniques, and again, something to write down, is to today take some time to meditate. And meditate just means to quiet your mind. And so if you could just breathe in for five seconds, breathe out five seconds, and just focus on your breath or focus on the air conditioning that is doing. But what you don't want to do is focus on anything that uh, you might have some resistance for. So don't be sitting there saying, oh, I want more business and quiet your mind that way because you're not going to be able to do it. And so, you know, you're not going to get mad at your breath, if you will, and say, oh, I'm not doing that right based on any resistant thoughts. So as you quiet your mind, what you do is you align yourself with God and you align yourself with these divine thoughts. And as you quiet your mind, you then allow these divine thoughts to come in. And then all you need to do, and I would suggest you do that for 15 minutes today, like if every one of you will do this, I promise you, you will have some out of the blue magical things happen for you that will make you feel better. And it's just the first step. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get a call with a million dollar uh, uh, listing, but it could. And, uh, but it's for you to just be open to whatever, just a kind word, a smile, a good thought that, that you have, and that will lead to more and more things. So the way that I like to uh, position this is that when you get out of your meditation to just sit back and say, I'm now going to watch the movie play out. I'm not going to put in my thoughts on how I'm going to do it or I'm going to work hard. Or I'm going to sacrifice none of that stuff. You don't need to do any of that. What you just need to do is allow the movie that God has made for you now to play out. And you will see the magic happening in that. So magical senses, if you want one, that let me know. And again, text me, email me, whatever. All of you should have my contact information. And, uh, and then um, uh, and this idea about meditation. And if you need a guided meditation, that I actually have meditations, uh, that you can do a guided meditation that I can uh, send you. And that's another good way instead of just, you know, paying attention to your breath or paying attention to the air conditioner or whatever, some non-resistant thing, you can do that. And so that's beautiful, Stacy. And congratulations that, yeah, I, I, that you really, and you know, this idea about mindset, uh, and if I, I can have the liberty, Stacey, that she was saying about those little spankings, that uh, uh, really what they were is she would say, and she'd call me and say, hey, you know, I don't have enough business. And I need business. And I got all these bills to pay. And, and I said, you know, what you're talking about is what you don't want. And so when you say I have bills to pay, God's going to bring you more bills to pay. When you say I don't have enough business, God's going to give you enough business. And right when Stacy made that turn and started to realize I'm talking and thinking about the stuff I don't want to and about my, you know, at my home and the issues of what I don't like about this person or that, 
Stop doing that, guys. Look for the good in everybody and everything, and especially in you, and you'll see that you'll get it all. So that's uh, just a little, again, if you have any questions, comments, but I'm going to now start kind of in the broader sense, if you will, and, um, and first look at uh, the economy. And so just so you know, the markets are going up. In fact, the NASDAQ uh, last Monday um, went to the highest. In fact, the NASDAQ has had 12 record closes since our national emergency was declared by the United States in 313, uh, 20. So 313 means 4, 13, 5, 15, 6, 7. Four months this has been going on. And, uh, and the NASDAQ has had record, record uh, uh, numbers. Uh, one of the things that's happening with the economy too that you should be very aware of is of course the 30-year uh, fixed uh, mortgage rate. And so that went to a record low. And again, you want to, you know, even though you kind of say, oh, I know that, I'd really write this down because most people know, don't, we're familiar with this, but the record low on 716, which was my birthday, by the way, um, it was at 2.98%, the lowest it's ever been in the history of the mortgage rate. And so this is all spelling opportunity for us folks. People can buy bigger homes. But people, by the way, our consumer is more interested in what the monthly payment is right now than anything else other than safety, which we'll get to in, in a minute. But it's really just uh, amazing on what has happening. So looking at the overall economy, the economy is more jobs are being gained. This is a big impact for us. Now, we're not going to see jobs. And again, I, I know this kind of stuff, okay? And, uh, and most people don't. But the, under 4% unemployment isn't going to happen for a while. So that's where we were at, uh, before this uh, pandemic. And so it's going to be a while. But the good news is we are adding jobs, but things are going to be replaced at that current jobs. A lot of the current jobs are going to be changing. And so all of this change, you look as good and know that change just means big opportunity. And so that's what we've been doing and why we've just had some record, record, amazing business. And right now in real estate overall, it's the best time ever to be in real estate. And so if you're not experiencing this with your business, that again, that you just take notes, flow with this. I have other, you know, uh, I have mindset training, all kinds of different things. Uh, and today I can, I'll, I'll send you, which is normally a thousand dollars a month, you're gonna get for free, I mean, you never pay me anything, that uh, you're gonna get my referral program. And it's five videos uh, that will take you to a whole new level and I'll share uh, with you about that. Still looking at the bigger picture, COVID-19, just know that despite all the noise and everything, I mean, the reason why there's more cases is because we focused our attention on that. Remember, whatever you focus your attention on grows. We've had 40 million tests, over 40 million tests of COVID. And so obviously there's gonna be more cases. Now the good news though, and, and just to give you ease, and so not everybody has ease about this, but know that 99 Point nine nine five percent this is according uh, to the CDC, uh, are all well and, and good. So again, 99.995, it used to be 0.997, so it's gotten a little bit worse, but if you understand what this means, that it's a very, very small percentage, and also understand that we create our own experience. So you create it the way that you want it. And so I personally wouldn't be thinking too much about this at all. And I wouldn't get into conversations with people about it because they're very emotional and there's different things that are, are going on. You might've had a relative, you know, whatever, uh, get sick or, or um, a transition. And, uh, and so always stay away from controversial subjects and that's one. And so just don't be thinking about that. But I want you to be aware of that, hey, uh, most of us are just fine. Okay? Okay, and we will be, and in fact, for those of us that focus on what we want, like more business, better relationships, serving more people, loving more people, uh, uh, loving myself more, that you focus on those ideas, and you'll just get more of that, and you'll see that all that other noise, if you will, will go away.
the other thing that's really happening in the world, and, and we need to all be aware of that, is protests and reform. And so I'm on the side of reform right now. Uh, there are definitely things that need to be reformed with our communities and with our police. And so to know that you're involved under our umbrella here with Mastermind Magnets, that uh, you're directly involved with helping reform, and that's because I am. And so we have a national panel that's actually meeting tonight. And so it's at 6.30 tonight, Central Time, and so we have people around the nation here, 6.30 tonight, but it's called Clearing the Pathway for Healing and Policing in America. And if you want the link, I actually have it. It's, you know, that HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. Then it's really easy. It's just tinyurl.com and then forward slash pathway for service. We have the top experts around the nation that are a panel that's going to be speaking on this, that's going to, uh, we've, uh, this is our uh, fourth panel session now that we've had on this, that uh, national panel session, it's been amazing. We have had people from governors to uh, police chiefs to uh, all types of government places all over the nation all interested in this because we actually have developed uh, solutions for this. And, uh, and so we're gonna have, again, uh, about six panelists uh, from around the nation and I'm one of the panelists. So if you want to do that, but so if anybody does bring up reform or whatever, say, yeah, we're uh, deeply involved in this. In fact, you can come to this tonight. And so you may know somebody and this is, you know, all that uh, we're here for answers and solutions. And again, for all of us, be thinking about, I just want to focus on answers and solutions. And so I asked for answers and solutions and I get it. The other one, so we've talked about the economy, talked about COVID-19, we've talked about reform, how we're so involved in that. Safety. So the number one concern for most consumers right now is safety. It's not how's the environment, it's important still, but not as important as safety. Well, we actually have started a whole division, if you will, on safety to help any and all organizations, individuals. So, you know, we have it in real estate, uh, how to, um, you know, have open houses and how to do it safely and actually build your business how to um, have, uh, have Zoom meetings, how to have meetings with you know, people without seeing them. Uh, we've had closing is where they've never seen the house. They've never seen the house. They want the house cleared, cleaned, and then they'll come into the house for the first time. And uh, so just know though, that if you have an organization that you know, if you're talking to people that if they need safety, we actually have this so, uh, have created such a safety division that uh, we can go in and give certifications to the company, individuals, uh, whatever the case be. And so this is what's on people's mind. Uh, what's on our mind is real estate. So let's uh, talk about real estate and uh, it is booming. Uh, real estate accounts for 15 to 18 percent of the U.S. economy, and it is hot right now. Uh, so straight off the press, uh, you know that previously owned homes rose to 20.7 percent in June. Closes on previously owned homes grew at 20.7 percent, and that's the most since 1968. So we are into record, record things. New home sales went up 13.8%. And uh, they were expecting this at three to 4%. And you know, if, if everybody would just attend in the world attend this mastermind group, we would have already known that, that there would be records. We, we declared that three months ago on that there's going to be, we are just booming. And what happened is the government, it's really easy. The government cut off, there was this powerful hose of real estate, government cut it off. Nothing's really wrong with our uh, uh, economy at all. It's not broken like in 08. 
And so, um, so that hose got, got closed off and uh, by man, if you will, and by government. And so because of that, there's all this built up demand. And so things are really, really good. Robust home builder activity. And so that's one of our strategies, one of our lead program is new home builders. And so again, if you're an investor to be thinking about this, like one great point on investors is most of my investors have changed, like who were really good investors, they were getting a lot of cash flow and it's changed. And those that, you know, were a little bit more conservative, uh, not, uh, didn't extend themselves so much. And so, you know, you have Airbnb owners that are looking to sell their property because they were living off of this, you know, robust economy and with people uh, renting their places every week. And that went, and that's gone, it stopped. And so because of that, there's opportunities. So be thinking about all the different opportunities. And as you focus your attention on that, that'll grow. So I want you to identify, hey, what really makes my heart sing? What do I really like? What do I want to know more about? And is it any of these topics is just by sharing these topics, you know, the, that we've talked about COVID-19 reform, whatever, by sharing some of these topics on Facebook with your friends, uh, with your sphere of influence, it's a way really to have them, everybody really, you know, respect you, you be top of mind and top of heart on them. And, uh, and then there's a the flood of mortgage applications. Uh, it's the record uh, mortgage, uh, uh, mortgage applications that everything's just blowing up here, okay? So it's good times for all of us. Apartment renters are seeking more space. And so be thinking about that, that, you know, leasing is not a bad deal. Like some people say, oh, I only make the first month's rent. First of all, it's probably over a thousand dollars. Okay. And so that would have been a lot of manual hours if you were working at McDonald's or whatever. Uh, but also that I have an agent that um, I just picked up three new uh, buyers uh, because uh, she helped them with le uh, leases uh, a, a year and even less than a year ago. But people are looking for, they need more space, like different Zoom rooms. Like I have a real loud voice. And so Sharon, you know, she can't do it. And she goes, hey, you know, I got to get into another room here. <laughs> and, uh, and then she has a loud voice too, but I don't tell her that. And, uh, and then young families are moving to the suburbs. So be thinking about that. Hey, how are we going to, you know, do that? And, um, and then just so you know that, you know, another thing on, on uh, how many people have lost their homes. Well, to give you a perspective, banks repossessed 527 single family homes in the first half of 2010. Okay, so in 2010, in that recession, a real recession where things were broken, 527 uh, homes were being uh, repossessed. In this, a decade later, we only have 37,000 single family homes during the first half of 2020. And so again, it measured 527 to just a thousand to just 37,000. So it's not, you know, that's not a big opportunity for us, at least not yet. It might be uh, a little bit uh, later. And just so you know, the five largest banks in the U.S. announced uh, in July that uh, they set aside $35 billion to prepare for future defaults. And um, uh, and so they're already looking, they, they estimate that 24 billion out of the 35 billion uh, could occur in the next 12 months. So again, there's something to be kind of looking at there, but probably the government's gonna come in with some more money now. Uh, did you know that 25% of the income uh, last month was uh, income because of the government gave us individuals income? 25%, never, never had happened before. So, um, so now what we're going to do is, so we, you know, basically looked at, hey, here's where the world is, here's where real estate is, and now I'm going to share with you um, on how a, refer, a, a leads program that we have, again, that any industry that you have would be effective for you, and I'm going to share a little of that. But before I do, any thoughts and comments with, uh, I gave you a lot of information there, but any thoughts and comments on what you like best there? Good morning, Angelica. How are you?
<laughs> um, any aha that stood out there? Yeah, and it's pretty incredible on what what's happening. We're we're just you know having records all over the place, and so it's very very good. Okay, now um, what I wanted to do is get into uh, uh, one of the things, uh, uh, one of the ways that we called this uh, referral program was 100 Days to Greatness. And if that sounds familiar, that's because Brian Buffini has created just an amazing leads program, in fact, uh, a referral program. In fact, uh, the first three videos that you'll see out of the five videos that I have that I can send you if you're interested in having consistent business for the rest of your career. It easy, it doesn't cost any money. I mean, there's so many benefits and it's really about service to people, uh, but you need to be on top of mind and top of heart. And so we call it 100 Days to Greatness. And the initial goals, and I would suggest you write these uh, uh, goals down, these uh, uh, specific objectives down uh, that we have with this, because it'll help you to start thinking about, hey, what do I need to do? And so all of us need to really do this, and this is the first one, is develop your top 250 clients, prospects, referral partners. So identify 250. Now, if you're new and you only know 25 people, then you have 25 and that's fine. You'll grow it, but, and just start at 250 might even be a big number. Just start at 25. And so every one of you for your benefit, for the benefit to really serve others is to look at who are my top 25 clients, potential referral partners. Clients are always uh, typically the easiest because clients are really great about, um, uh, about supporting you. They can say, hey, I used you, you know, that I, I, I use your services and, uh, and you were great and I just love it. And so it's easy for them to say, hey, you know, do you know anybody else that's looking? And you'll be surprised, maybe they're looking right now. You know, again, people are moving out of the main city into the suburbs, into smaller cities. Uh, millennials, they are hot, hot, hot that they're looking for, they're getting into the nesting stage and they're our biggest buyers right now. And about a third of them are actually sellers. They own a home. And so millennials is a great net. So if you're looking at doing that, and you don't have to be a millennial to, to uh, be able to uh, have millennials as uh, you know your client. So um, so I'd like you to look at that. And if anything, let's just start with, and, and we categorize them as A clients, B clients, C clients. What I'd like you to do is look for who are your 25 best clients, 25 best people that would refer you. And so again, all of this is in these five videos, but uh, just to give you an idea of Brian Buffini's, which I think our system is even better because we do it more with heart. And it's about heart and really bringing your heart to the table and being top of mind and top of heart with people. And Brian Buffini, his average is that the average agent sells $30,000, uh, makes $30,000 a year. His average agent makes over $300,000 per year. So tenfold. So if you want to tenfold your business, you'll want to do this. And it doesn't matter, like if you already selected, oh, but I'm doing first responders. That's great. You can do first responders. In fact, you can do that or new home builders that you can actually use the same principles to grow those different lead programs or just use your current um, you know, list and say, hey, I'm going to really connect with people. Now is the time to connect with people. People need to know that, hey, the world is actually okay. Most of us are going to be okay in this, that the world now is the time to buy a home that, you know, it's, it's lowest interest rate ever. And also to sell a home because they, you can actually sell your home. Home prices have gone up. And like we, we had predicted that, and they've gone up uh, just slightly about one and a half percent. But right now, homes, the average sale of a home in the United States is the highest it's ever been, $330,000. 
That's the average price of a home. People don't know this information. And so for you to be able to say, hey, did you know? And just tell people, it doesn't matter. Just tell this list of 25 and contact them this week. And just call them and don't be like, oh, gee, I need to make 50 calls today. Don't do that. Just say, hey, today I'm going to call Bill. You know, uh, and, and, and Bill might be two minute call and I leave a message, it might be a, an hour call, okay? And so leave that time and just get connected with people, but share the good news with them. There's lots of good things are happening here that, that you and your team are involved in, you know, the reform, helping with that. People are really going to work. Most of us are going to live through all of this. And, and you know, we have a choice. Uh, do we want to just survive or do we want to thrive? And we've decided to thrive. And so to really help uplift other people and make them feel, feel better. So another one objective that we have in this is uh, to have at least one qualified um, buyer uh, every month. I would also add right now, in fact, I just had an agent yesterday say to me, oh man, Dr. Hank, I, uh, I, I need to start listing homes. It's much easier. And I can't tell you how many agents have told me that. Well, I have America's best listing presentation. So if you want the listing presentation that I can send that to you. So again, you know, these are the things that you would write down. And, hey, I want a, a great one. And it actually is, again, back to Brian Buffini happens to have the best. It's fresh, brand new out of the box. And uh, it's a, just a great listing presentation. And I can send you that. Again, it's video. And I had a, a person the other day say to me, well, I don't like to learn by video. You better get used to learning by video because about 94% of our customers, they end up watching videos in order to uh, make a decision on what agent that they want. And so for you and to make decisions about a lot of different things. And so video is really the name of the game. And that's why I would suggest that when I, you know, when we open it up a little bit later here, all of you talk, because I know that, you know, some of you are saying, oh, I don't look right. Or, you know, you look beautiful. You're all beautiful. Or, you know, gee, I don't know what to say. Just say, just, you know, just start talking. And you know what to say, and you're, you, you'll see. And just ask God, give him the perfect words, make me look beautiful, and you will. Make me irresistible. I love that one. That uh, make me irresistible, and you will be. So that's kind of actually the first three videos are about that and some really amazing things, how to develop the rainmaker mindset, how to have desire, how to be coachable. Uh, and really, you just need to, you know, you're getting my coaching that people used to pay thousands of dollars. You're getting it for free here. And so you just come to this every Tuesday and uh, and then you'll be fine. And remember, uh, so, so, you know, every Tuesday we have this 11 Central, every Thursday, for just real estate agents, we have 11 Central. And if you haven't seen that, you need to go to that um, and see that on Thursday. And then again, tonight we have um, on the uh, reform on that. And uh, then, but you'll learn fundamentals of real estate rainmaking, where to focus your time and energy, the seven secrets of a rainmaker, how to be a winner with $300,000 or more income, a blueprint to financial freedom, creating your own rainmaker business. I mean, literally all of that is in those three. And so then, you know, probably you say, hey, that's really cool. And I definitely, you know, want that. But it, 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 in my opinion, even gets better. And so um, in the fourth video, I have uh, uh, America's probably, I think uh, definitely top moneymaker, um, wealth uh, man, broker uh, in the United States. And his name is Gene Frederick. And um, I have Gene Frederick on uh, my Age and Wealth Success uh, National Podcast. And speaking of that, a little side note, yesterday I put out a podcast and uh, you'll receive it in your email in the next couple of days. Um, maybe even this afternoon, I think it'll be ready. Uh, but that's how to increase your uh, income on every transaction. And you'll see how you'll be better serviced by actually offering a concierge service. And so it might be something you might be interested in, in as well. It takes very little time, but basically no time. 
and um, and I'd actually pay your, I think it's $200 to get in and I'd pay that initial fee and then you can start making more money per transaction, but I know that that's coming out. Anyways, Agent Wealth Success, I had a national podcast and I had Gene Frederick, number one broker in America on, and he used to be with KW at five um, uh, uh, franchises, he had a territory, he was in California, Northern California, he was in Hawaii, I mean, this guy just uh, adds it down. And he basically brags about, uh, and in a real nice way, he's a wonderful man, but he says, you know, I can move anywhere and I can get business. I don't need to know anybody and I can get business. And so he actually wrote a book, 101 Ways to Get Business. And uh, so if you want to uh, get that on Amazon, I would certainly suggest it because his mindset about all this. Uh, I just watched a little of it the other day again, and it just blew me away on his wisdom and the way that his, his mindset is. Um, like one of the things he says is, not everyone is created equal for networking. And so be thinking about that list of your 25, you know, are they outgoing? Are they connected? You know, are they, would you consider them a networker as far as helping you and do they love you and would they refer you and other people that have referred you, make sure you get with them. And it's about writing notes too. So if you haven't gotten in the habit of notes today, I'd like you to write five notes, just thanking somebody. It doesn't even have to be in real estate. But do that. I, I, I just think to yourself, how many notes, thank you notes have you received in the last year? If you've received any, bravo for you, and you know exactly who sent them. Well, if you'll just send notes, it's these things that, again, keeps you top of mind and top of heart. You don't have to say anything about real estate. Most of them know you're in real estate or drop your card in it or whatever. Um, you know, or say at the bottom, you know, one of the things is, hey, you know, if you have anybody that is looking to buy or sell a home, I'd love to be able to, you know, help them uh, do that. But that's one of Gene's things is not everyone is created equal and for, for uh, networking. And, um, uh, and then he also recommended a book. So if you'd like to really get into referrals and everything, he recommended not only, you know, he has his book, 101 Leads. Again, his name is Gene Frederick. You can get it uh, there. But it's called, he recommended uh, The Tipping Point. And it's by Malcolm Gladwell. And so it's just a great one. But see, all this information is in these five videos. And really, for free, you can have business, a steady stream of business the rest of your life. That, um, you know, I never talk about, oh, the doomsday, whatever. But, you know, we're going to probably get hit. Like, let's really enjoy these six months and save up, and make lots of money and everything. And uh, we might uh, be coming on some challenging waters. Well, you won't as long as you have referrals, because there are always, no matter how bad the economy is or whatever, there are always people buying and selling uh, uh, their homes or real estate or whatever. And so again, we look for that uh, opportunity. And, uh, and then look for people who have a following. You maybe even want to uh, write down, because we're in this virtual age, Go to meetup groups and uh, they're virtual meetup groups now. And so go there and, you know, and they're all talking just like, you know, we will here in a couple of minutes and, and talk and, you know, any answer any questions that you have, you know, et cetera on that. And, um, uh, and so think about connectors too, you know, who are people that are connectors? Um, he calls, uh, you got three types of people that you want to connect with. Uh, he calls them connectors, you know, people that are just uh, do that. Or the person, he calls them mavens, uh, the person that knows everything, you know, like, hey, who do I call? You know, I need a plumber. Who should I call? You know, and who comes to my mind right now is Maria Leash. And Maria Leash is a member of a networking group that has all kinds of different people. Well, she can also refer me to clients because she's at mortgage. And so she knows lots of people that, you know, they call her and you say, hey, I'm looking to buy a house. I need a mortgage. And she can ask, you know, an agent. And so, you know, so you'll see that this just is all fun. It just gets better and better. But again, there's connectors. They're the know everybody, uh, know everything, the mavens, what he calls them. And then there's salespeople. So think about what salespeople that you know. 
and how to just connect with them and just say hi to them and you know have a conversation with them and just let them know about real estate so you don't even have to say you're in real estate even if, if, if assume they don't know you just start talking about hey you know i'm in real estate i i want would you be interested in knowing what's going on in real estate right now it's booming you know real estate interest interest rates are lower than ever that uh, new homes jump bigger than they've ever uh, have in what 68 78 80 98 100 80 you know, on 60 years, you know, they, they've uh, more than than ever. So there's all kinds of good news to be able to share about real estate and your expertise to be able to uh, have that. Um, then the last thing on uh, this, so so again, that Gene one, he's the fourth video, and so I would recommend you you watch all five. But um, you know that fourth one is darn good too, uh, with Gene Frederick. The fifth one is actually with one of our agents, one of our top agents. He uh, typically is making 25,000 or more a month and his name is Ryan Shea. And what he, um, the whole topic on that is, is how to build your business from within. And what he means from within is about heart. In fact, I have here, and this is his uh, sign, that he just did, you know, instead of, you know, don't fear or whatever it is. If you say don't fear, you, you attract fear, okay? But he just put these signs up in his um, condos. He wrote a book. Uh, and if you need to know how to write a book, I just uh, have completed my 14th book now called Health, Wealth, and Success. And that'll be coming out in a little while. But uh, I can help you write a book. And um, my wife, Sharon, went to go ask some people on, hey, I want to write a book. And they were charging 30 grand, you know, and it would take a year and all this stuff. You can do it really easy. So anyways, I showed Ryan, I think he paid $200 because I have all my whole staff uh, all trained on how to publish a book. So he wrote a book, uh, Condo Living in Dallas. And uh, he uses that and he gets so much business out of that because he just hands them up. He gives them, he gets listings, but just knocking on doors and saying, Hey, why don't they give you my book? You know, kind of in case you wanted to live in a condo. And go, oh, cool, you know. So, anyways, but his is building your business from within, and how just with your heart, that your amazing, all powerful, all loving heart, that uh, with your heart, that you can literally be led to all the opportunities that you want, and that's how Ryan does his real estate business. He doesn't look at, hey, I'm going to make 50 calls a day or whatever. Now, he does use um, some of our, in fact, he just called me yesterday and uh, because we have a new home builder uh, lead program. And uh, what did he attract? A new home builder sales agent. And it's a brand new uh, area. Nobody even really knows about it. They haven't done any marketing. But it's, I think it's 140 acres and it's $200,000 homes, 200 to $250,000 homes. That's a sweet spot. By the way, the most homes selling in America right now are between 250,000 and 500,000. Over that, uh, over 500,000, not selling as much as typically, and then under that 200,000, not selling as much. So anyways, he just landed a gold mine. This will give him income for the, the next, I, they haven't even broken ground yet. And so he'll have, and, and so the sales consultant that he called me and he said, hey, what do I talk to the sales consultant? They elected her and he, she called him saying, hey, I need to sell my home because I need to move out there. And so, you know, how much would it cost? I said, just give it to her for free. Don't charge her anything as long as you guys agree that, um, that she'll help you to, you know, uh, sell these homes for her. And, uh, and so there's literally hundreds of homes that he's going to be the exclusive agent at. But that was all done with love. And so building your business from within and literally you'll be guided by God. You'll get these divine thoughts. You'll get these divine impulses to call somebody. All those things, if you'll just let it go, let the Father do the work and you just flow in the stream of life that you will see you'll get everything that you want. Uh, if I could tell you anything, a secret to life, is and and so like if you ask well what's the one secret for me to build my business is stop trying okay just stop all this stop oh i gotta do this i gotta do that stop it 
go meditate, relax, go walk in the park. God knows what you want. God's trying to give you the answers, but you keep on getting in the way, and God's trying to give you the impulses to call this person, but you keep on getting in the way, saying, hey, I'm going to figure this out myself, and I'm going to call this person is, you know, I think they'll be the best, instead of going by heart. You'll be amazed at, uh, on how heart uh, it will get you to where you want. So that's the five uh, different videos that we have on the referral program, an amazing program. Again, I have it. You just text me, email me. I'll uh, probably best to email me, drhank at drhank.biz, um, because I can get that. And, and remember, if this works with anything, any business. You can be selling cars or whatever. It's just that specifically for real estate. In fact, I help Fortune 100 companies around the world with their sales forces to do, and I gave them exactly that on this referral program, uh, just more geared uh, to their business. So with that, I think that's all um, I have on that. And so let's open it up that I've given you a lot of information again today. It uh, just can uh, just, you know, if you just take one of these pieces of information that uh, just flow with it, uh, that you'll see. So uh, let me, uh, so what uh, questions do you have? Uh, thoughts that you have? What did you like best? I want everybody to participate I like here. I hey. like the videos. Hi. Hey, Angelica. I'm excited about the videos, the five videos, um, watching those. Um, I did begin with Brian Buffini, and it's it's more me. Um, I love the relationship building, and yeah. that's basically where all my referrals are coming from, is from past clients and people that I know. So yeah. definitely on board with that. Yeah, that's beautiful, and Alika, and yeah, and it's really about relationships, and I love that word, and uh, and then even to move it to, um, <clears throat> it's about friendships, you know, and yes. it's really about us. You know, we're just all friends. We're all in this together. Let's just all love each other, let's help each other, and our expertise happens to help them with the American dream. It's like, how cool is that? You know, that we're not, you know, sell them ice cream or whatever, even though I do like ice cream. <laughs> and, uh, and Angelica, that, you know, you've been such a good student, if you will, good, good team member here, because, you know, you've gone to our live events, you actually went to the, uh, uh, with John Penkert, uh, that, um, uh, with Maria uh, in a couple of those uh, uh, about building relationships and that Brian Buffini. And that's why I love Brian Buffini and he has great ways and probably his number one uh, technique, if you will, is this idea about writing a thank you note. And since, you know, yeah. most people are inside right now, it's just a great way to, you know, write people a thank you note, to be able to, um, you know, really be on top of heart and top of mind. And that's why your business is the best it's ever been, right, Anel? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's the best it's ever been. So this really does play out, folks, that, you know, you just need to just say, hey, you know what? And, you know, we heard from Stacy before that really both Stacy and Angelica, you know, when they came that they, you know, didn't have much business and, and wanted more. And, and that's where I come in. You know, they basically, you know, you, your prayer has been, I want more business. And then God puts me in there. So I'm your guardian angel. Yes, definitely. <laughs> You are definitely a blessing to us, Dr. Hank. No, we appreciate thank you. you. Yeah, well, thank you. And I did get two referrals this week, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, all right. You, you, beat, you beat us to the uh, punch, and, and this week, we're only in Tuesday, you know? Yes. And, and so, so she already has two referrals, and so she's really taken yeah. it by heart. And, you know, I'll say one thing about referrals is that probably the most resistant thought that people don't even know they have the thought per se, but um, they don't think they should ask for a referral because that other person doesn't win. And we've been taught like, oh, I got to be a people pleaser and everybody's got to win. But the fact is everybody does win. When you ask a person, hey, do you know anybody that I could help, that I could serve with their real estate needs, that that helps, that person you ask, helps all the people that they know 
because anybody that they know that needs a home that you know is looking to sell property you know whatever in real estate that they're going to be able to bless that friend that neighbor that relative that loved one whatever they're going to be able to bless them with you and you just need to know that you're worthy and so, so a lot of us, you know, we've been told as children, you know, you should be seen and not heard and hell, nobody told us when we were 18 or whatever, okay, that party is over, you don't have to do that. And so we just keep on thinking these things. And so if anything, know that you're with all of us, all of us are together and we're all worthy. And so you are with the best team in America, real estate team in America. And so just know that, stand tall and ask for that, that we have to ask in order to receive. And again, you can do it in just a friendly, nice way. And sometimes you don't even have to ask, just be on top of mind and top of heart. But it is really your responsibility because you have all this expertise and all these resources to have any answers in real estate that your customer, your new friends, you know, might, uh, might have that you can get the answer. So if you don't have the answer, just tell them, Hey, we'll get the answer. You text me and I'll, I'll give you the, I either have the answer or know where to get the answer in virtually anything. And, um, and so uh, that's just the way it is, you know, it's all fun. And, and Hey, I'm well connected. And my most important thing, like we started out in the beginning, I'm connected with God. You know, I always uh, invite God with me every day. And if you will too, that you'll have wonderful things. So thank you, Angelica. And other thoughts, comments, questions? Dr. Hank, I just wanted to um, reiterate that the rates are fantastic. Uh, Brett Carmen who is our first responder resources program lender yeah. uh, just did uh, closed a refi for my, my sister and brother-in-law at 2.78, a refi oh. that was only $130,000 wow. at 2.78. And he did it in 14 days. Wow. So, so Brett is a tremendous resource and, I mean, he was on vacation all last week and he called me once and he texted me. I'm like, you're on vacation for <laughs> yourself. Wow. So. That is impressive. And thank you for sharing that. I, I sometimes I, as a Maria, you know, with everything that I do with her, I kind of forget that. Yeah. Brett Carmen is just a great loan officer. And again, if you're looking for uh, really anyone in the nation, if you're looking for a good loan officer that just uh, tap into me that both of those are um, loan officers are in the DFW area. So if you are there that, uh, yeah, that's a great one, Paula. Thank you so much for uh, that information. Is that your piano behind you there? Yes, that's my beautiful piano. God oh, darn, that is great. It's one of my prized possessions. Wow, <laughs> how beautiful. I love that it's in the background like that. Well, it's just in, I put it in my dining room because. That's great. I don't have any dining room furniture because I got rid of it when I went to Belize. So I just, Yeah, yeah. And who uses a dining room, yeah? <laughs> No, just go out to eat. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, do you play piano? Oh, I can. Really? I really tried. I, I took it when I was a kid. Yeah. I, I played in a, a guild when I was a child. I, wow. The coolest thing, though, about piano with me is that my father took me when I was about eight or 10 years old, and I have a picture with him in a little brown velvet dress. Oh. that he took me to see Van Cliburn and it was just he and I. Oh, so it was a date. It was, that was one of my best memories about piano. Oh my God, how beautiful. Well, I won't ask you to play right now. But <laughs> I could play chopsticks. <laughs> do, 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 do. I remember that. This one has a player on it. So, oh wow! -y. Well, maybe it costs more than the piano did. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, it sounds great though. That uh, doing that, maybe at the end you can uh, turn. Can you automatically turn it? It needs to be tuned. Okay. it's been moved a couple of times. Yeah, so. got it. It's all good. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, other thoughts, uh, comments, questions.
Let's have one more. Rob, what did you like best? Well, I, as I've said before, it's the positive attitude and the positive feeling I get just from attending these meetings is it's yeah. that's invaluable to believe it or not. And, yeah. um, but from a business perspective, you know, I'm still, still ramping up. I did make one call yesterday. Great. Uh, interesting call. It was a house for lease. Uh -huh. So I called the guy up just out of the blue and said, Hey, you know, I can help you lease your home. Yeah. If you have any interest in talking with me and I'm par paraphrasing. Yeah. And uh, he said, well, he's got it listed a few places, but if he can't get it listed or, or if he cannot get it rented by next Monday, he wants me to call him. That's fantastic. So we'll see what happens, you know, and, and then uh, if I can do that, who knows where the, he, he may remember me the next time. You That's bet. great, Rob. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What I love about that is you took the first step. And so, <clears throat> you know, you can, like, God can make a button or a castle. It's the same amount of energy, if you will, that, you know, it's no big deal. But it's a matter of, you know, asking for, going out for that button or castle. And so, you know, yeah, go after that le uh, leasing. That again, leases, you can make lots of money on that and help a lot of people. And eventually those leases turn into buyers wanting to do it. And also this relationship you just built, this friendship now with this owner that at some point they'll probably want to sell. And uh, so you just keep on, you know, I'd add them to your list and because they definitely are part of your center of influence uh, that, uh, you know, you add. And, and I would encourage all of you to, you know, make lists of, really just everybody you meet, whether they're a potential, you know, buyer or seller in the future, which basically everybody is, as well as other resources, like we just brought up Brett on mortgage that, you know, that can, that guy can be, uh, can get you leads, you know, and most, again, most people aren't doing this. Most people aren't sitting like we are and, and, and brainstorming on, hey, how can I get more business? I'm telling you, there's business everywhere. It's right under our nose. In fact, when I would teach uh, Fortune 100 companies, and I tell them it's right, right under their nose, and I said, just think about who you know. And it sometimes would be within two minutes, sometimes within two months, they'd all of a sudden think, oh my God, and they have just this amazing person that could give them all this business and help them and whatever. And they just weren't thinking about them. And so if you'll just be quiet, breathe deeply, and just think, hey, who could really you know, refer me so I can serve other people and build my business and you know, have the income that I desire? Who would be you know, somebody that could really serve me? And if you just are quiet, breathe deeply, and just do that for a couple minutes, you have to minimally do it at least a minute. And so in order to get connected, if you will. And uh, so, you know, I channel all the time and that I can do it pretty much instantly. And, but that's just as I'm used to, you know, doing that. But normally it takes about a minute for us to kind of get away from it all and just ask for those thoughts to come in. And you'll get these divine thoughts and you'll, it'll just make your heart sing and you'll just be tickled pink. And so I love Rob, again, I love that you took that first step forward. I, I love that. Um, that you said, hey, just because you you like coming here because it's positive. And yeah, if you turn on the TV right now, I pretty much can guarantee you it's not going to be a pretty scene. And, you know, it doesn't do you any good. And one of the great uh, ways to think about your thinking is to ask yourself, can I control this? And if you can't, don't think another thought about it. Because all it'll do is frustrate you. But all of us have this that we can control, and it's how we feel. And when you feel good, you line up with God, and then, uh, then the, the heavens part, and literally all the things that you ask for will come to you. Dr. Hank? Yes. This is Sherry Parker Evans. I just wanted to say thank you for the invite. I have really jo enjoyed this positive meeting, and oh. I'll be back. That's awesome, Sherry. Well, fantastic. And I'll, 
I'll send you um, Thursday's uh, meeting too. I think you'll really enjoy that. That is uh, the GPS to real estate success. And so I think you'll like that. But uh, we welcome you, Sherry, to, um, to our mastermind group and, and our team. And we're all here to help and love each other, support each other. And so, you know, if you want to reach out to anybody that just let me know that, uh, uh, that, you know, they're great. And, and as I'm just kind of looking here at a couple of pictures that I see, I don't see all of you, but like Angelica, she's bilingual, you know, hey, maybe you need somebody bilingual, but, you know, Angelica can, can help you and get you in the door or whatever. And, and, uh, and you'll see, we just are a lot of heart. And so I, and that tells us a lot about you, Sherry, you have a lot of heart because otherwise you wouldn't have been attracted to this. And, and I appreciate uh, your uh, kind words. And we all take that because it's all of us together uh, making this up together. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. Yeah, you bet. So with that, um, we're, uh, our time is up that if you do have any other uh, thoughts, questions, anything that I can help you, please let me know. But at the end, you know what we do. And we like to laugh and have more fun. And now you sing. We like to laugh and have more fun as we increase our income. As we increase our income. You can watch my income rise. You can watch my income rise. As more and more I magnetize. As more and more I magnetize. Sound off. Sound, sound off. off. Wealth success. Wealth success. <laughs> and let me see. I want to do one more. Uh, yeah, I love this one. I accept prosperity. I accept uh, prosperity. Uh, and money finds me easily. <laughs> money finds me easily. All right. Well, welcome. Thank you all for coming today. That uh, again, next Tuesday, every Tuesday, 11 o'clock central, we're, we're on this. And, uh, and if you have any topics you want to talk about, or if you want to review any of the lead programs or anything, let me know. And we can, uh, we have no agenda. The agenda is all ours. And so you're more than welcome to uh, do it. Again, I invite you at 630 central tonight to uh, join us on the reform. And it's really just the last one. It's just amazing and where all these prejudices came up and the little black boys at 10 running from cops when they would come and you understood they were brought up. Hey, stay away. If a cop comes, run, man, run, because basically it was just trouble with a cop. And so just, you know, some really good insight, but we're here again, we're going to talk answers and solutions. And, um, and then Thursday at 11 o'clock uh, Central is your GPS to real estate success. And with that, I love you all. This is Dr. Hank wishing every Everybody, a happy, happy day. And then after I turn off the recording here, if you want to stay on with any other questions, that's great. And so to all of you, love you and uh, welcome to your health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Love you too, Dr. Hank.